Crafty Life Mom. And I'm back with some Dollar Tree pumpkins. So um, this was one of the requests to get some Dollar Tree pumpkins and actually paint them with you guys live. It was one of the um, things that you guys kind of wanted to see. So I have today all of the Dollar Tree pumpkins. Well, I don't have all of them, but I have a couple of these guys and they are like the raised, they are, they have like two pieces of wood on them, kind of. You see that? They're like grooved. These were the new pumpkins this year. They are, um, I mean, I don't know if they're popular, but they're the newer ones at the Dollar Tree. And you can see like I'm holding it, like how big they are. I think they're super cute, especially for like DIYs. I've seen so many different things done with these pumpkins. People are painting them. They're de uh, Mod Podging, like fabric and um, napkins even. Um, all kinds of goodies with these pumpkins. So um, I thought it would be fun to paint one. I actually have a couple of these. And if you guys want to do a giveaway, we can totally do a giveaway. Um, I have a spare one that I probably won't do anything with. So I'll be happy to send it to somebody. Um, you just got to sprinkle the video in order for um, some giveaways to happen, okay? And then I have two of the basic wooden like craft pumpkins. Now, a lot of the pumpkins at the Dollar Tree, they already have um, like words on them, they're colored, um, they even some of them have glitter in the wording, and I've seen a ton of those pumpkins made over and like they sand off the glitter they flip them over and use the back and i've seen a ton of crafters you know out there redoing those pumpkins and i have even done a few um myself in the past like two or three years made over the pumpkins so i thought it would be just fun to do the wood ones that are the craft ones with nothing on them and kind of start blank and just kind of show you what you can do with just paint so I'm not really gonna do any Mod Podging, um, but we're gonna have some fun. And so I kinda have a neutral tone idea that I wanted to do, and I think I'm gonna do it on this pumpkin. And then I have um, like a bright and colorful idea to do um, with maybe, maybe the, another one of these or maybe one of these. I'm not really sure. So, um, we can paint a couple of them. We'll see how fast I can move. But, so let's go ahead and start with like doing the natural or the neutral toned pumpkin, okay? So I'm just cutting my tag off and I'm gonna start with the basic pumpkin. And I think like based off the wood, the way it's cut, there's kind of like a, the edge is like a little more sharp on one side than the other. So I'm thinking that this direction with the thing going that way, the, the stump or whatever that's called, um, what is that called? <laughs> the, I, the, I don't know, it's the handle when you go pumpkin picking. I can't remember. But anyway, <laughs> if you know, leave a comment and tell me because my brain is all the things. Um, back to school started this week, and so that has been interesting. But anyway, so I think this is the front. So that's the way I'm going to paint it. So I'm going to flip it down so that's the way it's right and correct to me. I believe I flipped the camera so you guys could see the right way so I've laid out I don't know if you can see them on my camera but I've laid out pretty much like not all of my collection but a lot of my Waverly chalk paints they're like two bucks or less at Walmart so you can easily pick up these paints and recreate like the same looks that we're gonna paint tonight and for this pumpkin I think I really want to go with a plain white pumpkin because white and the light greens it's a very popular um, the stem. Thank you, Brittany. Hello, Brittany. How are you? <laughs> I can't believe I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> that is bad. Anyway, um, I've had a really good day, like productive nonetheless, but my, I think when I go live later in, in the night or in the day, like now, all my words and knowledge leave me. So sometimes I'm left with gargly goop. But anyway, so <laughs> the stem, it goes to the left and that's how we're going to paint it. Um, and I'm using, like I said, these chalk paints. They're from Walmart. You can easily pick them up. This one is not open, so let me go ahead and open it here. With my, I hate sticking my scissors down in there, but 
sometimes the foil on these is rather thick. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna have some messy fingers tonight, guys. We're gonna have paint all over, okay? It's just, it's just how it happens with me. Don't be afraid. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead because I wanna coat the whole thing white and then start to like give the pumpkin shape, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of this pumpkin like a bright white. Like I said, or I was saying, all of the hot colors for fall, like the trendy colors are um, white pumpkins, light green pumpkins, shades of green, even some shades of teal. That's like really popular. I even checked out the like decor section at Walmart um, not that long ago and they have white and green pumpkins um, there in different tones and different shapes. So you could easily pick up some trendy on point stuff there for your decor, very inexpensive. Um, if you're, you know, into decorating for the fall things and doing stuff that's a little trendy. And so I've even had a couple of you guys mention to me that um, like you think that I buy all brand new decor every year and I wanna be clear, I do not. Like I do buy craft stuff, but I don't buy everything brand new. I shop a lot of what I already have and then I add to it with things like this. And so this is a wooden pumpkin. We're not changing the shape of it. Like I'm not adding anything to this. You could easily put it in a frame or something like that. You could easily um, get those like Jenga blocks and you could hot glue a Jenga block, you know what I'm talking about, to the back of it and it creates a stand on it. So then your pumpkin is, you know, can stand up and be on display. These Dollar Tree pumpkins, they come with a hole so you could just leave the burlap twine on there and actually, um, you know, uh, hang it like it is on a hook or on a nail or something on your wall. So you could do all kinds of different ways on how you display it. But today I'm just showing you painting the pumpkins and what that actually looks like. Okay, so here I've painted the entire thing white. We've got a white pumpkin. Great, looks great, right? Now let's make it look interesting. So you can tell by the natural like, I've got an itchy eye right now. I'm gonna put paint in my eye too probably. Um, you can tell when you look at a pumpkin down here at the bottom, you can see the little ridges. So these are like where the natural like bumps, you know, the curvatures of the pumpkin would be right in this center area. So I could try to do this upside down so you guys could see it in the camera. Um, you know what, I'll try it. I'm gonna give it a whirl for you guys. So, what I'm gonna do is I have some different colors of like brown, I have Merlot here, I have antique wax, hazelnut. We're gonna try and do, um, I just put my hand in that, um, some darker brown color like here, okay? Just to kind of open up some of the tones as we shape out what this is gonna look like. and. Um, I kind of have an idea in my mind, but I, I don't really know. So, okay, we're looking at, oh, I just dropped it. Look at that. All right, so what I want to do kind of is I want to kind of plan, um, you know, where I'd want my curves to kind of go. And I'm just going to kind of take my paintbrush and kind of just draw in it. And this is with the wax. So this one is like the one that kind of acts like a stain, okay? And so I'm just gonna draw in my curve here and I'm gonna do another one here. But I'm not gonna let them meet like that, okay? Now I had a drip here, so I'm gonna wipe that up and I'm just gonna go back with my white and just kind of fix that, okay? So we're good there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, just kind of follow that curve there. This one I'm gonna do more up and down just to kind of get that thinner shape. And I'm just gonna kind of do like that. So you see how we're shaping there? Now these kind of overlapped a little, no big deal. I'm just gonna take my white and brush that out because I don't want it to not look like, you know, it wasn't natural. Does that make sense? Okay, so now I'm gonna take the other color brown and I'm using the same brush and just kind of dip it in there and just to see what I get. And I'm gonna take this darker brown and I'm either gonna go, let me think, if I think about it. Like this, I think I'm gonna go on the outer sides of it because that's how the shadows would be 
when you're looking at it kind of head on, I'm just gonna drag that darker shadow into this pumpkin color here, okay? And I'm gonna just do it on all four sides, on all four like curvatures of it. And my brush is a little funky tonight, so. Okay, so now I've kind of got that going on. I got a little too much paint right here. So no big deal, right? We kind of just wanna work with what we have and then let's just try to keep it in a smoother look. So, so far, okay, we're looking good. All right, so now I'm gonna take the darker color and I'm just gonna kind of outline the entire pumpkin, okay? And I kind of need to mix this color up because I think it's not giving me its true color. It's kind of giving me the oil. So yeah, look at that, it's more of a toffee color. So let's just kind of get that a little bit better of a paint instead of the oil. Yeah, that's kind of better, right? Okay, so since this color is a little bit lighter, I kind of like the darker look, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the black that I have, and I'm gonna use a different paintbrush for that, just kind of get um, some movement here, okay? And I'm gonna line the bottom of my pumpkin kind of like this, and just trace the whole outer edge. So this is like for those muted tones, those people who like to decorate, but you don't really like all the green, you don't like all the red and oranges like overtaking your entire house. You kind of tend to keep a, you know, like that white, cleaner lines, more neutral look. This pumpkin would probably be for you, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of outline my entire pumpkin and I'm just kind of doing it quick like this just to get those lines in there. And I kind of have a picture of one that I was looking at, but mine's not really looking too similar, but still, what are we thinking? I'm gonna go back with my black and make sure I get that dominant line in there. Cause this one kind of got blurred a little. So let me clean it up a little bit with my black. Kind of like the black a little better. Same thing happened here. So I'm gonna clean up. And it's kind of okay that it um, smeared a little bit because you can always go back and fix. Okay, so go with my black in there. All right, so now let me go back with the toffee color and let's paint like where the part is brown on the pumpkin, right? Hey, it's a pleasure to write this. Okay. Babe, there's a, um, can you block? Sorry about that, guys. We don't have that in here. Um, anyway, let's move on. So we have um, the top of the pumpkin. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, put all of this here. Yeah, I have a block I need you to do. And paint the top of the pumpkin like this. You know, kind of like how it has this, the sprout part of it right here. Kind of looks like that. And I'm gonna kind of do one more going into this direction right here. Let me just make sure. Casey. Casey, can you block for me, please? Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. I hate that. I'm sorry. Creepers are everywhere. Um, you need to do a block on the thing. Thank you. Um, all right, so what I did was I painted the top of the pumpkin. That's kind of like that, you know? And I put a few at the top, so it's like those little inverted Vs right there like that. And then we're gonna go back with the black and just kind of re-highlight like those parts where each part of the, the um, pumpkin would be so you kind of see like like that right like in that and I'm just doing it real lightly subtle with my brush and they're not really touching they're super you know a little bit so now I'm gonna take another skinny brush and with the white kind of highlight in the dark brown part of this pumpkin. Like 
like this and kind of brings it all back together a little bit like that. Now, I think like I'm pretty much done with it, but what I want to do is I need to paint the stem to kind of match, so let's do that. We're going to paint my stem to match, and I'll probably make it a little darker here with a darker brown color, um, just to kind of make sure that that part of it stays highlighted. Does that make sense? Like we want the, the base of it to kind of be a natural, more natural looking look. So we're gonna paint this a little bit darker. And I'm kind of just mixing the paint on the pumpkin as I go to kind of give it that darker tone, okay? And then the last part is, let me wipe that clean, is we're going to, um, let's paint some like little whimsical swirls on it, okay? We're gonna do just some little bitty, um, let me see, I'm trying to think. I'm doing it upside down, so I need to kind of look at it. It might be a little better if I was doing it straight on. So I'm thinking kind of like, I don't know, some little loop-de-loos like how of a pumpkin patch. You kind of have those little parts where it came off the vine. And I'm just kind of using a guide here. Following my motion. And let me do another one. Coming right out of there. Like a thin one maybe. And a little tail. Lay down so it doesn't run. All right, so look at that. What do we think with the little swirls? Cute? Okay, so since this part is a little bit darker up here, I wanna kind of add a little more detail. Um, so let me get a little bit of that excess paint off and I'm gonna come back in with the white. Oops, over here. And let's just kind of add some highlight on there as well. Kind of like that, there we go. I think that looks really cute. And so when this dries, you could easily like cut out with a vinyl decal. You could put someone's um, name in the middle, like your last name, like there's a space for that there. And so this is just the Dollar Tree, there's the back, pumpkin, and this is the neutral one, okay? So we're gonna do one that's the same pumpkin, but we're gonna do another, like with all the bright colors. So let me put that one to the side to dry. These don't take very long, just a few minutes. Um, okay, so here is the other pumpkins that we're working with. Make sure you sprinkle so you can be entered in to win one of these, okay guys? So let's take a look here. This one already got paint on it, so we'll do that one. <laughs> um, all right, so like I said, the green, I'm gonna take the raffia bow off. They're cute as they are, and we might add it back at the end. I even laid out my own raffia, like, this is the Dollar Tree version. This is like when you buy it regular in a package. Um, the only thing about it, when they stick that bow on there, it really is on there and it leaves like the glue blob, which is not fun. So for this one, oh man, there's a lot of glue on that. I haven't used my scissors to like scrape it off. Just be careful when you do this. You don't want that like going crazy. Okay, like that, no, right, sorry. This looks crazy, okay, got that. It's pretty smooth now. We're definitely gonna have to like sand that out or something later or put another bow back on it, which we might, we might do a bow. We'll see how it looks with the paint. What does sprinkle mean? Okay, so sprinkle, <clears throat> I get asked this a lot. Sprinkle means the video, right? We're not allowed to use that word in Facebook land. When you are like, um, when you have a page, um, it's an algorithm thing. So instead of using the word that we want you to do, if you look in your bottom right hand corner, there's a box and inside that box there's a word, right? And it starts with an S. And so instead of saying the word, we use the word 
sprinkle, right? Because you want to sprinkle this out for everyone to see. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So um, I can't say it, but you guys certainly can do what you want. <laughs> it just helps the page grow and it's good for all the algorithms and everything like that. So we say sprinkle the video or sprinkle this because it just helps and that's all the fun stuff. Okay, so let's move on. We're gonna paint pumpkin number two. So for this pumpkin, I have, let's see, do I have any more little brushes? I kinda, sometimes I hide some in my little drawer right here. I don't. So I think for this pumpkin, we're gonna do an all green pumpkin and we're gonna highlight with the white, okay? So let's do, I hate to pour this out. Um, here we go, I have a fat brush over here. We'll use this brush. And I'm going to, so this is the one that has like the extra shapes on it, right? The highlighter parts of the pumpkin. We're going to paint this pumpkin all green and we'll go back and we'll paint the raised parts like white. And I'm painting this kind of like quick and sloppy, right? Because I'm actually getting it on the raised parts. So when you do this, if you have this pumpkin, don't worry about it because the beauty of these pumpkins is to make them look like realistic or as realistic as possible. I mean, we know they're not real, they're wooden and they're flat or flat-ish, right? But it's all in painting the pumpkin. You want some, you know, you want some artistic looks to it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna kinda do the, the green on this one and then I'm gonna put some dab of brown here at the top and then I'm gonna use my green brush without getting any extra paint on it and I'm just gonna drag the green into that brown, okay? So it's just gonna blend the two together. So it's a little a little bit subtle and I've almost over painted it. So let me dab a little bit more brown there at the top. And we're just gonna make this kind of subtly gray grow into brown, right? All right, so there's what I've got going on right there. Now I'm gonna go back with, let's see, I have a creamy color. So let's see, this one is not open. So let's open up the cream. Oh, I might have one open right here. Oh no, that one's not open either. <laughs> I go and I buy these little paints and then I forget that I have that same color at home already. <laughs> Does anybody ever do that? Just me? Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use another brush. Let me get this mixed up in here, get the oil down in there because these are chalky paints, so they're a little different kind of mix. They're a little bit thicker to work with, but they're cool. And so I'm gonna paint, now it's almost the same color as the wood is here, but I'm gonna put the, the creamy color into this and paint these pieces in the middle, this creamy color, right? And, and it's blending into the green that's smeared up on there, which is totally fine. That's what you want it to do. You kind of want that rustic like well at least for this pumpkin i'm thinking we want that rustic blending paint look okay so by doing it we're dragging the green now into what i'm painting and i'm just kind of doing it with like a sloppy hand like it's not anything special guys you can totally do this you just need to find the pumpkin right you need to find the blank pumpkin dollar tree is where they're at and grab it and go now i'm taking the cream and I'm just kind of going on the outer edges here with this pumpkin. Oops. All right, how does that look? Are we liking this or are we not liking it? All right, so next, I'm going back with my green. I haven't re-dipped it yet. And I'm just gonna highlight, well, I do need to dip it because it's not on the end of the brush. I'm gonna highlight and I'm just tapping it into here. And then I'm taking that same brown color and I'm gonna drag and I'm just kind of painting it like this in that center pocket piece, okay? And I'm just giving it just some accent, I guess, with the brown, the toffee, hazelnut color to kind of blend this together. And then I think lastly, we're gonna come back with some white to go with that cream, okay? Might need to use this white, yeah. 
And I definitely like the brighter pops of white in the pumpkin. I just, I don't know, I love the brightness that it provides, I guess, to the pumpkin, like the shine of it maybe, I guess. I don't know how to say why I like it, but I just like the brighter color, the brighter tones a little bit better. All right, so there you go. It's kind of like a messy paint. Now you can totally do so much more with this, okay? It definitely needs a bow back here in the center. And guys, we could even highlight with that black on the edge, like I, which my hand wasn't steady, but we could totally go back and highlight with this just subtly here and there. Um, like that, just a little bit. Might need even a little bit down here. On that side and on the highlight parts with the brush you kind of want to take your time because you don't want it to look like on that where the paintbrush kind of was just drug you could almost use like a fat sharpie instead to give it these little extra highlights so like this okay so this is the green pumpkin with the white. It could even maybe use some more green here in the middle to kind of help it a little bit better. I, I think I like that better. Yeah, let's give it some more green in the middle just to kind of make call this one our green pumpkin. And that's what is trendy right now, the green and the white. So look, I would put a bow on this one and if I was gonna put these around, I would display these almost together somewhere, right? I wouldn't hot glue them together per se, but I would put these like, I don't know, kind of give this one an elevation or a little bit vice versa, you know, kind of angle them on a bar, on a like, you know, your coffee bar or wherever you're gonna like have a little vignette. Like you could even prop one up on a nightstand, like leaning against your lamp or um, coffee in tables. You know, how cute, like on the kitchen backsplash, you know, in an area that doesn't get too much traffic, you kind of layer them up a little bit. I'd almost do it this way because of how I did the little ribbon curlies. Like that. <laughs> All right, what do you think? I don't know. I kind of like the green pumpkin. It definitely needs a bow. The black might be taken away from it a little bit. We don't want it to look like a watermelon. We kind of want it to look more like a pumpkin. All right, so there's two. We're going to do one more. And then I'll wrap up this pumpkins painting. But I'm hoping that this kind of like inspires you to go get some blank pumpkins, right? Sprinkle a video. I have a couple of these guys left. Okay, so you can get one sent to you. And we're gonna paint this one a little bit funky, a little bit different. And I had a pen laid out because I kind of want to like section this one off. Let me grab another pen or a pencil. I have a pencil, good, yay. All right, so I'm thinking maybe like, I don't know. I have a pumpkin that I see here that I kind of want to recreate. Um, somebody shared this one and it's like six sections. So I'm thinking if I just do something similar, I'm gonna go down the middle of my pumpkin with my pencil and draw a line. You guys see that? Like that. And I'm going to go ahead and make like three sections on each side of it. Like that. So we're going to like make some, oh, can you see it? Some striped out pumpkins, right? And I want this one to be funky. I'm probably going to add a ribbon or a raffia bow to this one. And this one I'm kind of most excited about because I feel like, I mean, I'm going to try to, get close to what this one is. If I can share this picture, I will, but um, I'm not gonna do everything the same, so it's still gonna be completely different. But when I think of fall, I would think of different things. Like I wore my pumpkin spice shirts, pumpkin spice everything. Um, I wore that for you guys tonight. I actually have this shirt in the shop. And if you love Starbucks pumpkin spice, they just came, I think it was today, they just came out with it. I already went and got one. It was nice, I loved it, okay? Moving on. So anything, anyway, when I think of fall, I think of pumpkin 
pumpkin spice. I think of like buffalo check because that's like trendy right now or it has been for a few years. I think of leaves, different colors, different patterns, different textures. So when we're doing this pumpkin with the six different stripes on it, I feel like each stripe is going to represent something like that about fall. And hopefully in the end, all the stripes come together and make a cute pumpkin. That's the goal anyway, okay? So let's just kind of go through that together. So I have the color of Waverly chalk paint right here. It's called pumpkin, it's a bright orange, but um, pumpkin spice rather is not, right? It's not like a bright orange. It's more of like a burnt orange. And I'm getting like red everywhere all over the lid of that. Um, so let's try to mute down the orange a little bit and let's just go ahead and get the pumpkin color representation stripe like done and then we can go into like texturing and different patterns. So I'm going to just, and I have like a piece of paper just laid out here on my thing. I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit of this Merlot color. It's a red color and I think I'm gonna use it as like my spice color. So I'm just gonna, I finger painted it right on there guys. Um, that's right, I do finger paints. <laughs> and so now I'm gonna come back with some orange and I hope I have enough paintbrushes out because I've like dipped my paintbrushes in all the different colors. So let's do this one with orange, I think it's clean. And now I'm gonna blend it with this, um, this Merlot color. You see that, you see what I'm doing? And it's gonna hopefully make more of a pumpkin-y spice color instead of a pumpkin-y orange color. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense, right? I don't know. Um, so let's just paint that stripe, this pumpkin spice color. And I'm just making the spice color like on the fly. I'm calling it pumpkin spice. It's not really, guys. I'm just mixing it with um, the two colors are um, Pumpkin by Waverly Chalk Paint and Merlot also by Waverly Chalk Paint, okay? And so by doing that and mixing this into um, the color here, I'm getting more of a burnt orange instead of a bright orange. And that's the look I was kind of going for. And we're just gonna stripe this out. And so I'm not gonna get like, you know, tape out and tape this off to have perfectly straight lines. I'm just gonna use the edge of my brush to get that line just as straight as possible. It's okay though if it doesn't, if it doesn't work out. All right, so now let's do a pattern. I believe like white, let's do some buffalo check because why not? That's all the things fall. And that's an easy pattern that we can create. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my background on this one white. And then we're gonna try and do a pattern in this little um, stripe, right? This little strip of the pumpkin. So bear with me, we'll see if we can get that to work. We might have to work on this one being buffalo check over like doing the other stripes, right? Because it's it's a pattern and it's multiple colors. So we kind of want the Y, the white color to sort of dry, if that makes sense. I know I could probably go back with my black and I'm gonna like break this down into like two lines almost. And let me see, I, I think I need to like mark out my squares here. Um, cause I don't want this to be, I don't want it to look like the, the checkered flag, like for a race car. I want it to look more like Buffalo check. So I'm just kind of freehanding what that's going to look like. And I think every so often we're going to have a gray square. So I'm going to have to figure out how we'll make gray. Obviously we mix the white and the black together, but like where on this? So I'm just, right now I'm just checkering it out, I guess. Um, we'll start with that and then we'll go, we'll work, we'll work into the gray. <laughs> Not sure how I can do that, but. Um, Yeah, 
I think it'll work. We'll see. It's kind of looking like a checkered flag right now, but we're going to work on making it look more buffalo check, right? So that's what I'm dealing with right now. And that's kind of cute for like Halloween, but I think in order to make this look buffalo checky, I kind of need to like do my little lines right here down the side and maybe add some mixed gray up in there. We'll see, let me see if I can figure that out. Um, Cause probably now's the time to add the gray while I have, let me mix out some white. with the black that's on my brush and get like a little gray color going here on my little paper. And let's see if I can maybe um, smear that down in here. I don't know. I'm not sure it's gonna work out too right, but we'll give it a try, right? No harm in that. Let's see here. All right. I think if I drag the gray down into the white a little bit or into the black, it kind of helps give it that more buffalo check look. Um, and then I can always go back and touch up with, so how does that, like you see the gray in there? What do you guys think? Yay on the buffalo check or did I like botch that? I don't know. It's kind of like, me. Yeah, it's what it is, what it is. All right. So teals and greens, they are hot for, um, with like the orange colors. And what I've noticed is you don't see the teal with the green. You see the teal with like orange or you see like green with orange. You don't really see green, teal and orange together. At least not for like decorating purposes. You do not see those colors um, together. So I've kind of run out of paint brushes. Let me see. I do have my green brush, which I said you don't see those together, but it doesn't have the the most paint on it is like off. So let's use that to kind of get this teal color going. And this is a gorgeous teal color. This is also a chalk paint. Let me see what color this is while I mix it. What did I do with the lid? Um, all right, oh, peacock. That's a pretty color. So let's do a stripe in this, okay? Like I said, this is the funky pumpkin. So we want like funky going on on this. And I think this is gonna be super cute. And this pumpkin is gonna carry into Halloween because it just is like the funkiness of it alone is going to be, I don't know, just gonna be a different statement piece, I guess. You know, you can pair this up with some teal pumpkins, like Dollar Tree has several um, pumpkins that are like the felt pumpkins. You guys know what I'm talking about. You could put one of these next to that with a bright orange. Um, and like some of my black that I had there on the line, it kind of drug through, which is fine. It's totally given this a whole new look. All right, so look at this. What do we think? Do we like this so far? Would you do this? Would you paint your pumpkin like this? Yay or nay? No? You guys think I'm crazy? <laughs> it's totally fine if you think so, I don't care. Um, all right, so let's do, let's do like, a, I don't know, should we do like an orangey yellow or maybe a red? I feel like we need some red in here or maybe that Merlot color. Um, I'm gonna use the orange brush. Did I have normally get new brushes, guys, um, for these colors. So I'm kind of liking the burnt Merlot. Maybe we'll do it, I'm not sure if I should do it next to the teal or, choices, choices. Let's do it over here. I feel like I have more room and I want it kind of on the end. So I'm gonna do it on the end and then we'll do some kind of funky stripe or something on the end there. Let's see. Oh yeah, I like this burnt color. This Merlot, it's got the orange running through it because I didn't clean my brush. So, 
All right. What do we think? Yes? No? Maybe so? Guys, leave a comment. Tell me. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's do something funky in the middle here. And I think what I'm going to do is basically just run every color in here to kind of help blend this all together. You know what I mean? Like we're gonna make this just kind of pop all the colors together in this one uh, stripe. So it's just real funky um, blending here. And we're just getting all the different colors that I've used. in this um, stripe. And then I think we're gonna go back and we will add maybe, well, let's add some brown in there. Cause I think I need to do this hazelnut color on the other end. So we'll just go ahead and do some of that in this stripe. And let's see, I know I had a greeny color out, even though I said we don't need to do green with the teal. This is on the opposite end, so we might be able to get away with it. So it's just kind of like a paint palette in here on this pumpkin. Okay, kind of liking that. All right, and so now I'm gonna clean that one off. Let me see, let me get that over there. And let's add, it's almost too much black in there, so I need to put some more teal back in there. Oh, you know what I should do on this one? I have some of these sponges. I'm just gonna blop out all the paint and blend them all together, all the colors, and kind of smear it together like this to create a texture. And I probably need to get the red just a little bit fixed right there on the corner. It's a little too bright colored, so I wanna make sure it's put more predominant there. All right, so I'm kind of digging that. Now this needs some texture. So I'm just kind of like playing around with this one. This one little stripe is kind of like a, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but I'm digging it. Okay, so let's do the last stripe. Let's see, what can I do? What color? I don't really have a brush that I can use. I'm just going to use this white one because that's fine. And we're going to do the hazelnut on the end because it kind of reminds me of like coffee and all the things coffee in the fall. So that's what we're doing here. We're painting a pumpkin that represents all the fall things. Okay. And the white blending with that looks so good. All right. So what do we think right there? Do we like this? I'm not really digging the buffalo check because it didn't come out exactly how I was hoping it would come out for buffalo check. Like I feel like we need to fix the white a little bit on some of it. Um, just to see, just to get a little bit better representation of what buffalo check actually looks like or is like. Um, and I'm not quite sure, like I, we could do that if we taped it off, it could be a little bit better. From a distance, it looks okay. And I think with like a bow, um, this would be really, really cute. And so, um, let me show you some ribbon that I would pair with it. I actually bought some of these from Hobby Lobby. So I have, I have this white and, um, burlapy ribbon, but I also love this gray and white polka dot and so we don't have anything polka dot going on here so what i would do is probably create like two sprigs of this i can show you really quick and attach these to the top of this one because this one is so bright and so colorful i would do um more of the muted neutral bow does that make sense and i'm getting paint all on that okay i probably should clean that up a little bit i'm getting a little messy with my Bow making. So, um, two pieces of this crisscross like that. And then what I would do is pinch it back together. So it's kind of like this, makes that little bowish like look. 
And I would probably add this little raffia piece right to the front of it, right? To kind of secure it and then put it with this pumpkin. You see that? That's exactly how I would do it and style this. And then I would hang this on my wall, um, kind of like by itself maybe, or you could put it up on the coffee bar. I don't know, you could put it in the middle of a wreath, especially one that's got like a lot of the colors going on. But this is what I would do with this pumpkin. I think this is super cute too, by the way. I like the different stripes, it's different. You don't see this kind of stuff often. Um, maybe it's a little abstract, I'm not really sure, but um, I kind of like the look of it. You could also do the same thing with this kind of muted ribbon on here. This is adorable. I love this. All right, and let me show you that white one we did earlier. What do we think? Super cute, we could totally like put these together. I'm loving these. These are really, these are more my style. Um, but I love the funkiness of this other one that we just did. So, painted pumpkins. I will finish these off with some bows. You guys get to Dollar Tree, get your craft pumpkins and paint them, make them fun, make them unique, make them yours, and then put them around your home and enjoy them. So hopefully this inspired you to paint some of your own pumpkins and I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye.